Chapter 5, Mishnah 4. This Mishnah discusses how the law of to whom applies to borrowed objects. If one borrowed a utensil from his friend before Yom Tov, it has the tchum of the borrower, because it was in the borrower's possession at the beginning of Yom Tov, when the tchum is determined. However, if one borrowed something on Yom Tov, it has the tchum of the lender, because it was in the lender's possession when Yom Tov began. If on Yom Tov a woman borrowed from her friend spices for her food, or water and salt for her dough, they, i.e., the food for the dough that she makes, has the tchum of both the lender and the borrower, since the food or dough is a mixture of ingredients that belong to two people when Yom Tov began, it has the restrictions of both of their tehumim. Thus, it may be moved only to a place where their tehumim overlap. The next time it disagrees regarding water. Rebbe Hood excludes water from this restriction because it has no substance. Water loses its substance when it becomes absorbed into dough, so it does not have its own tehum. Therefore, the dough has only the tehum of the person who owns the dough, and not the tehum of the one who gave the water.